All right, well, I'm finally ready to start digging into this engine. Uh, the guy I got it from got it in a trade about 25 years ago, and he traded a Chevelle for it, and the guy said that this was supposed to be some built engine from Baker Engineered Racing Engines out of uh, Nunica, Michigan. Um, you know, he thought it had an alphabet cam in it and something else. I've only had the valve covers off of it, and it, the engine was really clean. Like there was no, you know, sludge or whatsoever. It looked almost like brand new on the inside, but it had stock valve train and whatnot. So, um, you know, I have no reason to believe that it's a, uh, you know, it, it, if it even has a cam, it doesn't really sound like it has a cam in it. Um, it is a high output roller engine out of a fuel injected car. Um, this is an 85. This was a carbureted car from the factory um and somebody had swapped the newer engine in and probably uh i suspect probably just put either their a tag or maybe the um you know valve covers off a different engine i don't know but we're gonna find out and see i'm gonna do a cam swap on this car and kind of show you the progress and whatnot and um you know, hopefully, maybe we'll maybe it does have a cam in it, or maybe I'll find something else that I don't know about it. But it'll be fun to find out. So stay tuned. Let's see. All right, guys. Well, I got the mystery engine torn down, and to no surprise, uh, we just got a stock cam here. It's in really good shape. There's minimal wear to it, and the engine is in really good shape too, as far as uh, you know how clean it is and the wear. And everything else uh this car sat since the early 90s before i picked it up a couple years ago and um obviously somebody put a you know a newer fuel injected engine in it and um you know it had uh the quarter glass off of like an 87 to 93 and the interior when i got it was actually out of a an 87 to 93 too so if i had to guess somebody took a wrecked one and threw the engine and some interior in it back in the early 90s or whatever and <coughs> excuse me and you know and then it just sat and i i drug it out of a barn just a couple years ago and it was in really rough shape i'll probably put a couple pictures up uh here in a second of what it looked like when i brought it home but um you always want to make sure you check these cam bearings when you do cam swaps these are in really good shape um if you look at these it might be kind of hard to tell um, plus the engine's upside down, but I had a hard time getting the cam out of this engine. And what had happened is it probably was starved for oil. And, um, I mean, you can see some of these rod bearings look pretty gnarly too, but, um, and it actually pulled, uh, it made a ridge on the edge of the bearing. And when I pulled it out, finally, uh, you know, there was pieces of bearing material that came out with it. And so that's why this engine's tore down now. Uh, I'm going to end up just rebuilding the whole thing. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. So I got a, uh, I had this B cam laying around, you know, a little 480 lift or whatever. Uh, I'm going to throw that in there. And, um, you know, it'll have a nice idle to it. I probably won't gain any power, but I really like the way those B cams sound. You know, some people might think that's lame or whatever, but. Uh, it'll be cool just to cruise around in this with just a B cam and uh, while I build this engine, I'll probably do aluminum heads and stuff on that one. So that one will be a lot more fun. Um, you know, we got a new timing set and stuff like that. So I'm going to get this thing put back together and we should be able to have uh, another startup video here pretty soon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here she is all put back together. Bleeding out the coolant right now. Sounding pretty good. I love the sound of a good B-cam. Sounds real good. Make sure to like and subscribe. Got more coming.